Hello Year 10s, I've just been reading this really good essay. It's a work in progress, but there's some great stuff in here that I wanted to share with you. Uh, the first thing I want to share with you is the introduction. This is a really good example of how to do that kind of opening clip that I was talking about. The writer here, who's one of the, stu the students in my classes, uh, starts with the quote about Joseph remembered his father smiling happily, and then they actually go on and give us the context of the quote. So Joseph's father supported his son through the cricket trial and giving him positive gestures when he looked over at him to give him the confidence he needed. So this is really good. It orients the reader. It says, yes, this is what we're talking about in the novel. And it says to the person reading it, this person really knows this story. And what I really like is that it includes the quote, but it also backs it up with that supporting sentence. So I say, oh yeah, that's where that happened in the story. The writer then goes on, mentions the author, and talks about how it's a novel called Running Man, and basically restates the prompt, but puts it in their terms. So the writer is doing what we've been calling an ADA response. They're saying, yes, this is a book about the role that family plays in people's lives. However, it is also about friendship. So it's acknowledging the part of the prompt that it agrees with, but it's saying, but there's this other element. Then we've got by family, we mean, and that's really well put, by family, we mean immediate family, such as brothers and sisters and fathers and sons and the bond that they share. So that's not just a dictionary definition, that's actually saying, in this book, this is what we mean by family. And this is something that you get out of a deep comprehension of the book. Like, this is why this is much better than a dictionary definition. Then we have the topic sentences. Um, we have family support, support is shown through the brother-sister relationship between Tom and Caroline. Um, a little bit of evidence. Uh, the strong friendship between Joseph and Tom Layton. Again, a tiny little bit of evidence, not too much. You don't have to put... In fact, I would generally say stay away from evidence in the introduction. But this is good. It just adds to those sentences. It's not kind of overdoing it with the evidence. And finally, we're finishing off with the novel is certainly about family bonds, but friendship is also a very significant aspect of the story. So again, balancing the prompt. Yes, it's about this, but it's also about something different. I was also really impressed with the first paragraph, so I want to share this with you too. In the novel Running Man, you don't want to do this all the time, but it's good. You're saying, again, I know what type of text it is. I'm naming the text. We see family support. So it's a we statement talking about us as people who've read the book rather than I as the writer. And family support is provided through the relationship between brothers and sisters. So I know what this paragraph is going to be about. It's going to be about family support and brothers and sisters. And that's what a good topic sentence does. It gives you, kind of, it's like a label on the outside of the packet. When I open it, I know that what's going to be in here is information about brothers and sisters. In particular, we see this, and then there's an example. So we have the writer of this essay retelling bits of the story, but packing in the detail. They're an adult brother and sister between Tom and Caroline Layton, so that's three bits of information. Caroline gives up her career as a journalist for her fiancé, so that's about five or six pieces of information. Tom Layton by full name, and she encourages Joseph, the shy boy next door, to draw a portrait of her brother. So you've probably demonstrated about eight or nine separate bits of information that you can recall, and you've put it together into a sophisticated package so that you look like somebody who really understands this novel. And here's the quote, and it's quite short. I thought perhaps you could draw my brother Tommy. So it's just a little snippet from it, like a little clip. You don't have to say what page it's on. And in this particular case, you don't even have to say who says it. We understand it from the context that it's in. And then the writer puts in a second example and says, although Tom is not as supportive as his sister, he agrees to let Joseph draw him. And again, another short quote to back that up. And finally, and this is really important, these examples show that brothers and sisters love and support each other through tough times. So this is actually making a point which isn't retelling the story, but saying this is why I'm showing you this evidence to prove this point, and this is the point that um, the writer made back here at the top. So the top says this is what I'm going to talk about, and the bottom says, and this is why I talked about this. So in terms of this teal structure, we've got the topic, we've got evidence, but we've also got explanation down the bottom and we've got it linking to the question. So this is a really sophisticated response. So somebody knows that they wrote this really well done and this is something that you can learn from.